Now when a vast is active, this little ball spins around and you'll also get a little pop-up window when it's updated the program or the database. Now when you start your scan, it tests the memory in the startup first. This doesn't take very long, it's only a few seconds. When it's finished its memory and scan, you then get this little CD player. Here you can select the scan you want, whether thorough, standard. Scan the archive files. You can also do a quick scan. For removable media, you have floppies and CD. Or you can select a specific folder just by ticking it, which is nice and easy to use. In the virus chest, infected files, as you can see, I have some infected files, but they're not, because these are actually the ICAR test file. User files, there's nothing there. System files, these are protected, which is why they're placed here. They're not viruses, they're placed here to be protected. And all chest files will show you all the files contained within the chest. Now the resident scanner, you can set to standard or high. That's your choice. Updates, very simple and straightforward. Now the program's already up to date and it tells me so, so I can come out of that, but you can also update the virus database. On the configuration which we went through just now, you can start a scan, you can scan the local disks, the scan level, archive files, start scan, settings we went through just now, select your skin, status information, tells you about the last updates, and the rest of it we've already more or less covered. When you want to start a scan, just click the play button. That's it. It's nice, simple and easy. Here you can see that you've got the pop-up of virus is found. And you have the option to move it to the chest, repair it, delete it, move or rename it. I will continue because this is the ICAR test. It's not a virus. This is for testing the antivirus program itself. So continue, continue, and that's it. It will continue because it's not a virus as such. When your scan has finished, you'll get a pop-up window showing you what was scanned and what was found, like the iCAR file. Uh, some points, like restore points, that it cannot scan, although some parts of the restore points it can scan. As you can find here, it's removed a Win32 Trojan that was found in previous restore points. It was moved to the chest and it's quite safe. It's simple, straightforward, easy to use. And if you just let it run, you don't need to do a full scan very often, maybe once a month. If you want to, do it once a week. But it's an intelligence scanner. It's got the resident shield, it runs in the background and it will alert you to any any files that are infected or any viruses that might attempt to download. If you want any more information, check out my blog, Free PC Security, which you can find at kotojo.wordpress.com or just Google search Free PC Security. I hope this has helped you to set up a vast and that it's been of some use to you.